friends, Nips again, out in the garage and a little bit of goofing around tonight. And I've got a couple of new plinkers in the garage here, uh, perfect for goofing around. And uh, <clears throat> I was pretty excited to uh, get home and actually get out here and shoot these tonight. I did an unboxing yesterday. I did a little bit of shooting with them yesterday, but uh, the sights on these are pretty minimal. So I wanted to get my little orange dot of paint on there. And I can tell you that has really helped out a lot. Um, so this is a, a new product sent over to me by Barra. Barra and uh, this is their model 1858. Uh, you can buy this on Amazon or on their, actually I don't think it's on Amazon yet. I was looking for it on Amazon. At least right off the bat, it's not on Amazon, but you can find this on their website. Uh, and I'll put a link down below for that. Um, they sent this over to me. I was doing, trying to do a little bit of research on it and see what ever, everybody else was thinking about it, but the only other video available, at least at this moment, uh, on this gun is actually by Barra's uh, company uh, video maker, uh, which is a very good video. Um, so <laughs> kind of neat that I uh, have got kind of an exclusive here, but uh, we're going to go ahead and test this. I've got my chronograph running right now. And I have my sound power meter uh, going. Uh, it uh, this is a little bit barky, um, so if your backyard is very particular as far as noise goes, this might not be for you. But uh, it's not terrible, it, but it is a little barky. Um, <clears throat> they do claim up to 100, 400 feet per second, so we're going to go ahead and try that out. Um, so the way that you load this, and I've got enough bullets in there to do our. our BB's in there, so it isn't a, actually a revolver. It looks like a revolver, pretty neat. I really like these uh, wood grain grips that are on here. Uh, the other one that I have to do a review on is this uh, Schofield, <laughs> which is quite a lot more gun, but uh, quite a lot more money too. So, <clears throat> But uh, this one has the look of a revolver, really kind of cool. But the way it loads is uh, this little slider right here slides forward and then locks into place right here. And then you put your BBs in this little hole. And when you're done, I think it'll hold up to like 18 or 20. You slide that back shut again. And now you've got a whole row of BBs here to, to shoot with. So these are, uh, I think, retailing on Barra's site for about $59 which is right in line with other uh, kind of replica BB, CO2 BB guns that I've seen out there. So let's see what we got. Um, let me start my camera here showing the DB meter. And uh, oh, you know what, I gotta start my... Start my screen capture too. I've done that a couple times recently. So now we've got the screen capture going and we can capture the bullet shots and the, the DB meter at the same time. Um, we'll only do the DB meter for one or two shots and then we'll just focus on the uh, chronograph after that. But So we've got an error for the first one, but uh, we have 107.5, so that's actually pretty good, so we don't have to... Let's do one more with the DB meter, and then we'll not focus on that anymore. But uh, let me see here. It's tough to get lined up with the uh, both sensors here. All right, that's better. 384. So let's do a few more. So I had 107.4 again on the uh, DB meter, so it is. It is a little bit barky, so uh, if uh, your garage or your backyard is a little bit, uh, a little bit more, oh, another error, come on. Three eighty-five. So pretty consistent. Still got a few BBs left. It looks like I'm, I'm hitting a little high on my target. I know I'm not showing you guys that yet, but. Um, another, man, 
another error. I was having really good luck with the uh, <laughs> with the black BBs, but now it's uh, giving me some fits. Three seventy three. So we're we're doing pretty good. Got a spread of twelve and uh, an average of three seventy nine. So not quite the four hundred that they claim, but definitely some good can plinking fun uh, speed out of that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this off for a minute and set up my target down range and uh, get ready to uh, I'll uh, set up a, a target and a can so we can see how it does against the can and also see if we can put some uh, BBs into a target. So stand by. Alrighty friends, I'm back and I have uh, the Vara 1858 all loaded back up with a new uh, round of BBs here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, I have a splatter burst target down there as well as a can So we're gonna go ahead and take a handful of shots at the target just to see where we can hit and Then we'll see what it does against the can. I already did shoot it some against the can the other day when I was uh, doing the unboxing so we kind of know a little bit what it'll do, but uh, I have put the uh, dot of orange paint on there so it is a lot more <laughs> accurate for me to shoot now so but let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do on the target here hmm. I don't know where that went oh I see it it's up high so it's several inches high Still, still up high. Just the, the other one was off to the right, off to the left. There we go. Still high. I'm expecting it to be minute of tin can. That's about it. <laughs> going there we go I don't know why I was uh, I was hitting hitting a lot better when I was practicing before I started it up but uh, you guys know me when I get on camera I fall apart but let's go ahead and hit the can That's better. Nice fat target. <laughs> Just what this gun was made for. Set up a whole pile of tin cans and just go to town knocking them over. Almost empty. Let's finish it up. hit it. I don't know where to hit it, but it seems like it's stuck. So I think this is the last one. I'm definitely hitting it. I think it's stuck in the paper, <laughs> but uh, I think that was the last one. Yep. So uh, not bad. That is uh, my initial review on the, uh, the Barra 1858. Pretty cool gun. Um, nice little, it's got the look, it's got the look, I like it. Um, not the best target shooter in the world, but I don't think it was ever intended for that. It's definitely a minute of tin can, and that's a ton of fun, so, but uh, there you go. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I have a bunch of other BB guns we're going to put this up against. I've got some old ones and some new ones. And uh, we'll be uh, having a lot of fun plinking out here in the garage this winter with this. So, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.